certified most accurate. Now your first Warren 5 forecast. Well, good Monday afternoon, mid-Michigan. Meteorologist Matthew Mondro with your first Warren 5 update. As we head into the afternoon on this Monday, that snowfall that's still out there at the moment uh, will start to wind down, especially towards sundown later on today. However, we still are seeing some travel impacts all around the TV5 viewing area, but especially from the Tri-Cities and South. So we have a winter weather advisory from the National Weather Service that does expire at 7 o'clock this evening that was extended up into Saginaw County, Tuscola County, and Sanilac County. Uh, for that reason being of the accumulating snowfall and the heavier travel impacts that we're seeing in the more southern half of our viewing area. Also on I-75 near Birch Run, also seeing a lot of slowdowns there too. First one five hour by hour does have that snow that's out there at the moment starting to wind down again, uh, but still focusing on the thumb, the Tri-Cities and South mid afternoon, tapering off to just a few isolated snow showers this evening and through the overnight lake effect snow showers do take over, but like typical lake effect, they'll be more isolated. As far as snowfall totals go, still expecting the high totals along I-69, two to four inches there uh, around the Tri-Cities into the Thumb and off to the west near Mount Pleasant and Elma, expecting a general one to three with only a dusting up to one inch for our northern county. So higher totals as you're farther south in our area. For our Monday, we'll have a high of 24 degrees in the afternoon, a south-southwest wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Wind chill still in the upper single digits and the teens through the rest of the day. And then for tonight, air temperatures themselves into the single digits, wind chills near zero by our Tuesday morning. 70 forecast is quiet, just cold on Tuesday and Wednesday. Highs in the teens. On Thursday, we do have another chance for some light snowfall to move through the area. Stay tuned for updates on that through the week, but then into Friday and Saturday, things drying out and also looking slightly brighter before another chance of flurries comes back in by the end of the weekend. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.